describe your high school uh experience so leaving from goodman pickens elementary school and that's still kind of one of the common things now we'll get to the district how it is where it stands now but when you left goodman pickens you would transition to if you stayed in the goodman and pickens area you would transition to william sullivan high school though william sullivan had an elementary a middle school and a high school so those who stay in durant or out of the state limits of goodman would go to a william sullivan so i started my william sullivan um career seven eighth grade year mm -hmm. and um that was great too like you know i felt like we had teach you had those teachers that did not know students that you had those teachers that took the extra mile so once they saw that they had their group of students that came in like they want to learn they eager to learn like they they want to make these good grades like those were uh students that stand out shout out to number one marcus stewart he is always gonna be my number one he was my basketball coach like he showed me my classmates students that weren't his like he he just took that extra time out to you know see what we needed see what we wanted to be and you know he provided that with us um basketball was a big thing shout out to phyllis hoxie she was there christy montgomery all of these teachers were there like they kept us there we didn't have the 25 book campaign and you know that it was a more mature um transition for us being in education and in mm -hmm. age so um i got in trouble you know i did my thing you know <laughs> little teenage stuff but i stayed on top of my grades like even then and even in middle school i still partially stayed with my grandparents but then i transitioned to staying with um my mom and like i said like being the oldest of 14 grandchildren we stayed all together Ooh, my i didn't know it was 14 of y'all okay we all stayed together in my grandmother's mobile home y'all that's one living room and two bedrooms so we made it work like we didn't it was family we made it work my grandparents Ooh. my grandpa um they call him shine and goodman he worked for this sawmill in um durant mississippi they shut it down years ago but um he hadn't worked since then but at the time you know my grandma like i said never finished education or anything like that but she was the seed of 14 grandchildren she provided for 14 grandchildren she cooked even when she couldn't eat for herself she provided all of us with what we needed so um she didn't play about grade so um i took that same mentality to junior high um learn new people this was a mixture of kids now kids that we weren't originally with mm -hmm. um we all mixed in so we learned new kids learned new personalities met new friends 